UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks beat up on the Boston College Eagles Friday night at the Conti Forum. The 6-0 final tells you so much and at the same time tells you so little. It tells you that the Riverhawks dominated in every aspect of the game of hockey. They were physical. They were terrific on the power play. They were terrific killing penalties. They found the back of the net, but that 6-0 final also tells you so little about the drama involved in this hockey game. It was only 1-0 after one period and 2-0 after two, and 2-0 oh, five, six minutes into the third period, and it was then that the Riverhawks finally laid down the law. On the night, two goals for Ben Holmstrom, two goals for David Valerani, two goals as well shorthanded, one by Nick Schaus, one by Nick Monroe. He moves it to Daner. Now to Edwards, wrist shot, safe, rebound, Holmstrom shoots and scores! The Riverhawks take a... This is Say toward the net, across in front, Holmstrom shot, score! Ben Holmstrom, a backhander, a second. Robotham there, first two on one. Robotham shot, save, Holmstrom rebound, save. Backhander by Schaus, he scores! Short-handed, the Riverhawks! Got it to Valerani, shot, save is made. Rebound, Valerani, one shot, save. Rebound, Valerani shoots and scores! The Riverhawks make that! Blair, right side. Blair, now to Valerani on the wing. His shot, score! To Edwin Shea, tipped it ahead. Now picked off toward the net. Nick Monroe, shot, score! Nick Monroe roofed it! Take a seat, John Muse. take a seat. It added up to a 6-0 final. It was not as easy as the score sounds. It was as dominating as the score suggests. Coach Blaze McDonald was proud of his troops. I thought Benny played really, really well. I thought uh, Mike Shue played well for his first, you know, second game in. After coming off an injury, he has a lot of poise, you know, and, and really does a nice job with the puck and, and Val. I thought, you know, clearly everybody played well, but you start with our defense. Uh, all six defensemen really played with a sense of purpose. We're strong on pucks in our own zone, make good decisions. And once you uh, do a good job of... Part of the Riverhawks game was the matter of killing penalties. We noted the two shorthanded goals, but look more closely at the penalty killing. Boston College had nine power plays. And they would get shots on goal, but they would not find the back of the net. Part of that's the penalty killing unit, part of it is the goaltender. You know, we had to face a lot of adversity there, and there's a lot of different ways to get motivation. Um, get momentum and, and win games and it was really our penalty killing in, in uh, Nevin Hamilton that allowed us to win this game. I, it was amazing the amount of penalties, amazing the amount of penalties we had to kill off. And as for the goaltender, well, it was Nevin Hamilton. His fifth career shutout, he stopped 27 Boston College shots on the night. But it was some seams in the first period that put this game in the win column. Yeah, I mean, I felt real good in the first period. Uh, my team obviously played real well the first 10 minutes of the first period. I got a couple shots, uh, made some big saves, got myself in the game, and uh, you know, all night I felt like I was seeing the puck real well. Uh, you know, nothing was going to get by me tonight. So, well, obviously, this period, uh, just like uh, last Saturday in Amherst, my team took care of the job, and it was very easy for me to play tonight. Spurred Atkinson wins that race, trying to cut in on that. Atkinson, fake shot, save Hamilton, a beauty. The River Hawks and Eagles of Boston College will meet again Saturday night, this time at the Sangus Arena. The River Hawks have won the season series from Boston College, but one more important game as the two teams are part of a three-way battle for fourth place. <laughs>